Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about questionable concepts in physics and today I am talking about quarks. Why are quarks questionable? There are experiments, but not everything which is vaguely related to an experiment is healthy. So, there are scattering experiments by Hofstetter in 1961 that had as a result there is something we do not understand in the scattering process okay, of particles. But this is no evidence for quarks, it's just negative evidence that we don't understand something because I made another video about that, we don't understand highly accelerated charges. Okay. Then the other aspect is a theoretical um, desire for ordering um, a lot of elementary particles that had been produced in the 1950s. Okay, So there was a mess of elementary particles and people tried to give some order to it. Uh, mainly Gell-Mann, I made a video about him. And the idea was to uh, sort these into, well, kind of metaphorical order with strangeness and hypercharge and so on. But um, nobody really believed in that. Okay, at the time. Uh, it was established then, so to speak, uh, with another big science experiment uh, which uh, showed that there was an energy peak uh, and it was called charmonium and everybody said, oh, this is the th third quark, quark particle. Um, but, I mean, every energy peak you can interpret as some particle with an antiparticle. There is no concrete evidence for a, dis a particle with distinct properties. Well, uh, so we had up quarks, down quarks, um, charm quarks, strange quarks, and then these are another ridiculous stories for themselves, uh, bottom quarks and top quarks. And uh, But you need to see the theoretical absurdity here. Um, you postulate um, six flavors, nobody knows why uh, six or three pairs of flavors, and then um, not enough here, yeah, the complication goes further, you need three so-called colors for each quark flavor, yeah? why three, nobody knows, and then you come up with another rule, oh no two flavors, oh, no two colors, sorry, allowed in one uh, nucleus. This is a very strange process of uh, theorizing. Uh, particle physicists, they, they just pull a rule out of their ass, so to speak, and, and uh, restrict it in another arbitrary step with another step. Uh, ah, no, two no two colors can be in the, in the nucleus. Well, uh, so there are others, other uh, very strange things such as you need to postulate gluons that uh, stick the quarks together and so on and so on. It's, um, as a theory, it's a very complicated mess that reminds us from epicycles. So, um, uh, if you're interested in fundamental physics, you better do not believe in quarks. To summarize, there are no genuine predictions. There are, there's a lot of complication. There is a grave methodological defeat that you need to postulate constituents of protons and neutrons. Yeah? And altogether, this is a, a, a mix of the superficial thinking of uh, post-war physics culture and big science experiments that are pushed to, uh, yeah, to promote these concepts but uh, there is nothing which is of, of genuine value for fundamental physics, okay? If you liked the video, um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Fundamental Physics. Thank you very much.